The twirl effect is found under the distort category and is one of those effects that's just kind of silly and fun. It allows you to simply twirl whatever you apply it to and give it this distortion as if you were flushing something down the toilet. If we take a look at this effect on top of a grid, it becomes really apparent what's happening. You have the ability to increase the angle, so just how much you're twirling it around, but you can also adjust the twirl radius. Currently it's getting cut off right here, but if I increase this size, I can affect more or less of the layer. I also have the ability to adjust the twirl center so that I can change what part of the layer is being distorted. And like most of these effects that are kind of one-offs and don't have too many controls, the key to using them is stacking them with other effects and using them subtly. So if you just wanted to add some overall very fluid distortion to an image, maybe you're creating an outer space scene and you wanted to give some fluid motion to a nebula or some space dust, this could actually be a really effective way of doing it, especially if you want it to kind of twirl around. It's just one of those effects where it does exactly what the title says, and that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.